All right, hey, I'm Chris. Uh, out in the BR today, and uh, last Thursday, so it was about five days ago, uh, we caught a second swarm at Summit School. It was the second one we caught this year. And um, it's been, uh, I brought it to my bee yard here in Long Creek Park in the back of my house. And uh, they've been, I opened them the next morning. And as you can see, they've been foraging really well and they're quite active. And uh, I thought I'd just, since I was out here, if I'd pop the cover and we take a look at it real quick and see how they're doing. Um, we did see the queen when we caught this swarm, which was always a plus. So uh, she was a nice, uh, kind of a buttery colored abdomen queen, and she was very healthy. Uh, pretty sure she was not a virgin queen, but she was a swarm queen, and so she should be hopefully laying right away. So we're gonna jump in this box. Um, I'm probably gonna expand it. These two boxes on either side here are empty, the two ten frames. I'll probably expand it into one of those boxes um, in the next couple of days to make sure they've got plenty of room. So we're just going to check on them and see how they're doing. All right. It's a little cooler today. It's mid 60s. Um, and these frames. So this was a decent sized swarm, but not a really large swarm. So let's just see how they're doing today. So this frame does not have anything on that side on this side we've got quite a few workers here that are cleaning things up and getting stuff ready to we've got a good bit of nectar flowing right now in our area so uh, tulip poplars are about to bloom so they're getting stuff ready I may be a little premature on this one in terms of um, expanding it to a 10 frame box they may not be quite ready for that yet but let's look at this side here all right, so got real lucky. I see the queen already. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show her to you because she is uh, not marked. She's right there, and she's going in and out of frame, a hole in the frames. She's coming up to my hand. Well, she just turned around. I think she went back onto the other side. Let's see if I can spot her again. But I did see her, so that's always a plus. This side looks really good which is great. Looks like they're working that, ready for her to go ahead and start laying, which is awesome. And there's so many bees on this. And this frame is actually not a great frame. It's got several sections of comb that were, uh, it was a piece of, there she is, really good view of her right there. Let's see if I can get these guys out of the way, but she is right there. So there you can see her abdomen. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the box, put it back in, but that's great to see that they're doing that well. And probably got a good bit of bees out foraging, which is, this is midday. This side looks really good. Good number of bees. So this frame was, these, these frames were drawn comb from a dead out hive over the winter. And just in those, almost five days, they've already put a good bit of nectar in these cells, which is evidence to what I said about it. our flow starting. There's a lot for them to, to go ahead and forage over. So that's great. So I don't have to panic about them not having enough food. If I get in here in another four or five days, I wouldn't be surprised if I see some cap cells of uh, nectar, which would be honey, and that would be pretty exciting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back together. And we'll let them grow a little bit, and then if uh, things go well, we'll look to expand that one in another week or so. Go ahead and put this down. While I'm here, I'm going to clean this frame up a little bit. It's got a little bit of burr comb on it. Don't need to teach them any bad habits. But these were from an old colony. All right, hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me.